Hello everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Uh, today we are going to go over all of the Christmas books that I bought because I'm cray cray and like I don't have enough coloring books as it is. That's okay. I saw Christmas books and I went through my stash and I only have two Christmas books. I have before I bought these. I have um, Santa's Christmas Grayscale Adult Coloring Book, um, which is a great book. It's It's got a bunch of um, really cool old school style images in it. Um, I'll have the link for this one below as well. Um, but I have this one and then I have um, Johanna Basford's Christmas, which she um, put out. Uh, I think it was like three years ago. So those are the only two Christmas books I had. So I was like, okay, I was watching, you know, some people's videos and, um, kind of got enabled Miss Ann. Um, anyway, and I found some that I hadn't seen before. So I wanted to, we're going to do flip throughs of all of these books. So this might be a little bit lengthy, but I figured I would do one video instead of six because, you know, nobody's got time for that. <laughs> um, so we'll do one video um, highlighting all of uh, these Christmas books. And uh, before we start, I just want to say um, next week is Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm going to be very busy next week. So probably not going to be having any videos put out next week. I'm going to try um, but there will not be a live video next Thursday because that is actually Thanksgiving. Um, so I just want to let everybody know that. So don't expect to see me, uh, next Thursday. Um, everybody's going to be busy with family and friends and I, I am too. Um, I've got one, two, three, <laughs> three different Thanksgivings to do. Um, and we're going to be busy, Shug. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so this Sunday, uh, I have my mom and my sister and her family coming to our house for Thanksgiving. Uh, so we're going to have 10 people here. It's going to be great, but it is at my house. So it's going to be a little hectic, you know, the cleaning thing and getting everything ready and all of that. But it'll be fun. And then Tuesday... Uh, a week from today, my roommate is getting the keys to his apartment, his very first apartment. Um, very proud of him. So we're helping him uh, Tuesday and Wednesday move um, all of his big things into his apartment. And then, of course, Thursday is Thanksgiving, and we're doing Thanksgiving with Adam's family. And then Friday, we are doing Thanksgiving with my dad. So it's going to be a really busy, busy week. But anyway, I hope everybody's going to have a wonderful holiday. And um, I hope you just get to spend time with your family and um, people that you care about. Because honestly, that's what Thanksgiving is all about is um, being appreciative and thankful for, for what you have. So um, I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start with these books that I found. Well, this one first. These over here. Okay. Okay, so this one I just found on Amazon. I was flipping through Christmas books. I was like, ooh, this looks good. And, you know, I am I am just uh, attracted to anything with a black background. I don't know what it is. I just, I love black backgrounds. So found this book and there are two, um, by this artist. Uh, her name is Alexandra Denenman. Denenman. I know I'm butchering that. I'm sorry. Um, but this is a smaller book. Um, probably like a, I don't have a ruler, but probably like an eight by eight, maybe, maybe nine by nine. But anyway, um, so yeah, so it is on create space paper, but that doesn't bother me because um, these are single sided and I can use markers. Okay. And these were published um, 
this one was published back in October of 2016. So it's been around for a little while, but it doesn't bother me. So it's got some really cute images on black paper. So we're gonna flip through this book. Very cute. Snowman. So cute. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. I have been uh, working on a diamond painting that um, unfortunately I can't show you on stream um, due to the fact that it is a Star Wars image and um, I, I just don't want to get into, you know, uh, the whole copyright thing. like. I got it off of Amazon, so I don't know if that seller um, actually had the rights to to sell that, that diamond painting, so I'm not going to show that one on stream. Uh, that one will just be for me, but I did get whoop, whoop, my Diamond Art Club stuff in, and I have not opened them. I got them on Thursday. I'm waiting to do an unboxing for all of you on Thursday, so Thursday is going to be epic. It's going to be unboxing of two Diamond Art Club canvases as well as the Christmas cards that I got from Diamond Art Club. So it's going to be great and it's killing me not to open them. <laughs> so anyway, isn't this book cute? It's adorbs. Gingerbread house. I love gingerbread houses. I used to make gingerbread houses with my grandmother when I was younger, and um, we actually made one with my nephews when they were young as well. There's a star. Yeah, I just, I was like, ooh, black background, yay! <laughs> And I didn't really see a lot of other Christmas books that have black backgrounds. I'm sure they're out there, um, but I, I saw these and the price was right. And I said, okay, going to do that. So yeah. Yeah, I like that they're single-sided just as, as a disclaimer. Always put something behind your, your picture if you're using markers or wet medium, um, you know, thick cardstock, a piece of plastic, uh, so that your uh, medium won't bleed to the other page. These are adorable. Adorable. All right, look, this is for Shaleen. Shaleen, this is the color nail I was telling you about. I can't stand it. I don't like it. It's very neutral and I'm not a very neutral person. I like bright colors. So, um, I don't know how long I'll keep this color on, but like I told you last night, I'm kind of lazy and don't want to have to redo it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, these are some other books that, that, uh, this artist has done the secret of the forest, secret of the sea, uh, Magic of Flowers and a big grayscale coloring book. Um, so yeah, there are other books by this artist. But anyway, I will link this one down below. Uh, cute book. All right, that's book number one. Okay, book number two is by the same artist, but this is a normal size book, um, eight and a half by eleven, uh, by Alexandra Dannenman. Again, um, black background. This is volume two of Merry Christmas. And this one was published in October of 2018. So this one was published two years later. So this artist has, has been around for a little bit. Um, she does have a website as well. Nice. Very, very cute cute book. Look at the polar bear. Oh my goodness. Snow globe. Look at the puppy. Oh, Puppy. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I am hyped up on like three cups of coffee right now. So I'm a little, you know, wee. Uh, mouse at a teacup. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. Aww. So yeah, these are cute books. Look at the kitty. Oh my goodness. Definitely going to be coloring this one. Yes, indeed. Christmas tree. So what's everyone working on? Tell me, tell me, tell me what you're working on. Like I said, I've been working on um, this diamond painting for the last um, two nights. And all I'm going to say is I am really starting to dislike 310. 310, for those of you that don't diamond paint, is black. And this diamond painting that I'm doing has a complete ba black background. I can't even talk today. And there's so many, so many black black diamonds it's it's literally driving me insane so i just want to throw that out there and the funny thing is is that the diamond art club one of the diamond art club um dps that i got has a total black area in it so it's going to be fun going to be fun aren't these cute books though it's like ooh gonna get them and I'm fairly certain and I'll have the links below but I'm fairly certain these books are under $10 um, yes snowman but yeah I'm, I'm big into markers now as you know so um, I'm primarily only coloring with markers now I, I haven't really done anything with pencil for a while um, I guess just my my coloring tastes have changed and I like to do the more simple coloring now. Yep, and these are all the other um, books. Oh, there's another one, Holiday Dreams, that she's done. Oh, I'll have to look at that one. Oh, she's got a Magical Mandalas one. Ooh, definitely going to have to check this out. Woodland Animals. Ooh. Let's check those other books out. Okay, so that was Merry Christmas Volume 2 by Alexandra Dannenman. Two books down. We're doing good. Okay. Um, this one is Stained Glass Coloring Book Christmas by Sun Life Drawing. I am a huge fan of Sun Life Drawing. Love them. Um, due to their simplicity. And um, they have a lot of different, different books. Uh, for people to color. They have um, stained glass. They have color by number. They have large print books. Um, so, yeah. Great books. Love them. Um, as you all know, I think I show it in every video, my favorite book by them, Mosaic Mandala. Get it, Shug. It's the bomb. Okay. Stained glass coloring book Christmas. Um, I know initially these are going to look... Um, kind of crazy on the page but it's a lot of fun to do um I don't have the one I did yikes yes I do I just did one um a couple nights ago I did this one this one is from world of mice stained glass coloring book by sunlight drawing and I did this one and at first I was like okay wow uh, where am I going to start just pick like two or three colors and just alternate and just before you know it, the page is done. I got this done in one night. So it was awesome. Love it. Okay. So yeah. So there's a Santa sitting in a chair on this one. It might be hard to see uncolored. You really have to look at it for a minute. This one is a reindeer with a bunny and then string lights and a bird. Kitties, angel, bird, ornaments, 
snow globe. Um, there's a stocking right here, the teddy bear in it. Stack of presents, puppy, snowman. So yeah, these, these are a lot of fun to do. I just, I just started doing the stained glass books. Um, I'm sorry, the stained glass book that I have, The World of Mice One from Sun Life Drawing. And at first I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to like this. I'm not going to like this at all, but I love it. It's great. It's great. Because honestly, you just, you pick a few colors and you just sit there and alternate. Or you can, I mean, you can color them all the same color if you want. I mean, it's however you want to do it. However you want to do it. So. That's a giraffe. Giraffe with little stockings on. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's so cute. So cute. It's a clock with mice and candies. Okay. Um... Gonna have to turn the book probably. It's a reindeer pulling a sled. Aww. Looking out the window. An elf. Kitties. How cute is that? There's a kitty and a penguin and mice. So cute. There's an elf putting together packages. Oh, there's Santa and a reindeer and a kitty and a bunny. So cute. So yeah, just something different. I had never done a stained glass um, page before, so always fun to try something new. I hope you guys can see this. That's them on a rooftop trying to get a, a big package down the chimney. Very cute. Just a really adorbs Christmas book. A tree with packages and then putting things on the tree. Santa and his elves. And that is it. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, and they give you a few, well, they give you a sample out of their um, stained glass with mice coloring book. So that's nice. So yeah, so that's stained glass coloring book Christmas from Sun Life Drawing. <clears throat> I'll have the link below. Okay, um, and then this one is um, Creative Haven's Entangled Christmas. Um, I ordered this one a long time ago, um, like two months ago. And I thought it was interesting because, as you know, it's single-sided. Um, but it's got some cool designs, a little bit more detailed. Um, but it, it'll be fun to use with um, markers, like fine liners or um, like big intensity, you know, your, your thin markers. So, and then all the pages are perforated. So, 
And this is a newer book as well. This one I think was published um, this year. So I just noticed my light is like really far away. So I am sorry. Hopefully I'll be able to see better. And some of them are more detailed than others, but you know, you get the idea. But I'm a big fan of um, Creative Haven books uh, for the sheer fact that they use thick paper, uh, one-sided, and all the pages are perforated. So it's fun because you can tear these out and, you know, color them with someone else. Uh, in your family or your friends. Um, you can sit down and color pages together because you can just tear them out and sit down and do it, show. So yeah, this is a cute book. Please let me know in the comments below if anybody has uh, any of these books that I am reviewing and what your thoughts are on the books or what Christmas books you have or going to get or are working on let me know like this one is woo detailed 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 so yeah That's pretty. With the wise men. So excited. We're having taco soup tonight. Uh, taco soup is one of my mom's recipes. And it's basically chili with taco seasoning in the crock pot. And it's great. You put it over... Um, Fritos or corn chips and it's amazing. Put some shredded cheese on top, a little sour cream. It's very nice to have on the cold rainy evenings which today is cold and gloomy and overcast. So this is a good book for those of you that enjoy doing um, the details. Uh, pages and of course you can do these with pencil marker watercolor you can do them with whatever you want single-sided um, which is great I wish I wish everyone would do single-sided I really do um, it really opens up your options as far as what you can do on the page I have so many coloring books that are not single-sided and I just it almost makes me not want to color in them because I can only use pencil um, for fear of things going through to the other side. I might be able to use some gel pens. Um, you just got to be careful with how much you go over it. So, nutcrackers. So, yeah. So, that is Creative Haven's Entangled Christmas book. And it's by Angela Porter. I forgot to say that. Angela Porter, who I absolutely adore. She's just a wonderfully talented artist. So awesome. Awesome book. Okay. All right. And then we get to Miss Jade Summer. I have never owned any Jade Summer coloring books until now. Um, I, I don't know why. I, I really, I can't, I can't tell you why. I don't know. But anyway, so I saw these, and um, because uh, someone enabled me, Anne, uh, <coughs> to go and look at some of her Christmas, some of Jay Summer's Christmas books, so I did. Um, so I got this one, the Christmas patterns, and then the cute Christmas um, adult coloring book, so Jay Summer. These are lovely because they are on... Um, single-sided pages with a black back 
backing on it, which the black backing, the black backing, I'm going to get it out, I promise, helps with the bleed through, believe it or not. Um, it doesn't bleed through as badly as if it was on a white background, so that is good. I'm going to try and move this light a little bit. Okay. So... These are really pretty. And again, it's, it's, you know, thin paper, but I don't mind. If, especially, I'm going to be using markers, so it doesn't bother me. Um, if it does bother you, you know, you can always just uh, scan it onto uh, thicker paper. Gingerbread. Y'all, I haven't eaten ginger snaps recently. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot. I used to love them as a child. And I don't usually eat a lot of um, sweets and stuff. Um, but, oh, don't you eat my ginger snaps. <laughs> they are good. They're really good with like a nice cup of like um, green tea in the evening. It's lovely. It's magical. Aren't these pretty? And I bought this book sight unseen because there really weren't a lot of um, images of this book when I purchased it. So I was like, okay, I'm taking a risk, but that's okay. Um, it's Christmas. I need Christmas books. And this way it'll give all of my viewers a chance to see all the pages. Does anyone have this book? Or the cute Christmas book from Jade Summer? Or any Christmas book from Jade Summer? <laughs> I know a lot of you are big fans of Jade Summer and um, I probably will look more into her, her books once I get through the holidays. I'm pretty much going to be on a no buying policy between now and January 1st. Um, I try to limit buying things so that I can, you know, buy things for my family and friends. Um, try. See, that's the key word is try. Um, I will say that if Kirby Rosanis was to put out a book, I would buy it, uh, except for the one that he put out recently, the small book that got really bad reviews, so I did not purchase that book. It's the only book of his I have not purchased. Um, but it just it did not get very good reviews, so um, I'm going to wait till his, uh, what is it, World Within Worlds, I think it's called. Um, that's going to come out in March. So... I'm really hoping that that will be a good book. So has anyone already started coloring Christmas pages? I try to wait until after Thanksgiving. That's just me. Um, that's my personal preference. Don't judge. Um, but I just, I like to focus on Thanksgiving. before I jump into Christmas. Like I haven't even bought any Christmas presents yet. And I probably won't until after Thanksgiving. That's just that's just how I am. It's an OCD thing with me. And it took a lot for me to go ahead and show you guys these books prior to Thanksgiving. But um, the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, it might be better just to go ahead and show them so that if people do want to get them, um, or see flip throughs and make a decision if they want them, then they have enough time to do that and 
have them for you know for the whole month of December um, for the holidays so yeah so this is this is a really pretty book so many different um, patterns very pretty very pretty I think that's the last page yes and then oh my goodness these are all of the books by Jade Summer oh boy Wow okay that's quite a bit oh and then they give you a bonus page from Christmas coloring book volume one so that's a bonus page that's nice Hmm. Okay. Very nice. So that is Christmas Patterns Adult Coloring Book by Jade Summer. Very cool. Okay. Now, the last Christmas coloring book is Cute Christmas. And I know Anne with a Colorful Life has already done a um, flip through of this book. And she's also colored out of this book. So uh, that's a great video to watch, too. So you gotta check her out. Um, so yeah, this is cute Christmas. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, kitties in stocking. Yes, please. I'd like a kitty in my stocking. <laughs> oh, my husband would kill me. Once we have a cat and two dogs. Oh, that's cute. Um, okay, that's a cat. At first I thought that was a squirrel. I was like, no, no, no show, no squirrel in the house. But no, that's a cat. <laughs> Gingerbread man. Oh, this reminds me of um, the movie um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. One of my faves. Okay, so yeah, what are y'all's favorite Christmas movies? Mine is that one, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, as well as Waiting with Ryan Reynolds. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. Santa and his cookies and milk. Or drink of choice, could be cocoa. Could be a little alcoholic drink in there. No, Santa can't drink and drive. No, no. None of that. Penguins. So cute. Penguins are quickly becoming a favorite of mine. Um, I'm a huge fan of sea turtles, and that's like, that's my jam, or sea turtles. But I'm really starting to get into penguins. So you might be seeing some more penguin <laughs> coloring pages for me in the near future. I don't know why. I just, I think they're just, they're so pretty. So pretty. Very, very cool. Are the elves hard at work. Rabbits ice skating. That's a concept. <laughs> Santa trying to get down the chimney. That is awesome. It's mice with Christmas sweaters on. Oh my gosh. That is presh. Presh. Here we go, baking some cookies. <laughs> A car with Santa's face on it. That's awesome. Oh. Uh, these are cute characters. They have like some, some humor um, involved in their expressions. That's kind of cool. 
That's very cute. Especially with her little bunny slippers. Oh, speaking of bunny slippers, um, hold on, I'm drinking some coffee. I used to have a pair of um, Monty Python's, the killer rabbit slippers. It was great. I don't know what happened to them, but I had them many years ago. They were awesome. Awesome. I think I got them off um, Think Geek. I don't even know if that's still a thing. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning. So with Jade Summer, I didn't I didn't mention this. Um, you're gonna get duplicates. I usually, from my understanding, I could be wrong. She provides duplicates of of her pages so that you can you know color it again, have one for someone to color with you, what have you. So anyway, these are these are just duplicates of what I just went through. So yeah, and then all her books again, and I might get a bonus page in this one too. Oh, I do. Bonus page of Christmas animals. That's nice. Got a nice reindeer. Yeah. All right. So those are all of the Christmas, Christmas coloring books. Woo. All these books. So yeah, I did go a little crazy on, on the Christmas books there, but you know, is what it is is what it is try to get that glare off well glare's still there so sorry anyway those are the christmas books i'll have all the links down below and again remember next week um not no live recording for me next week uh due to thanksgiving and i will try to get a video in next week um either oh it won't be Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll try at some point. Maybe I'll record one um, Monday and schedule it out. So I'll have something um, hopefully to put out next week for you guys. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, remember to uh, count all of your blessings and... Uh, just know that um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm thankful for all of you and uh, for all of my family <clears throat> and my animals and my friends. And I wish nothing but um, blessings and good health to all of you. So happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I will see you again really soon. Hugs and kisses to all of you.